I'm Martha from Van Bow Flowers and Garden Center. We've created these instructional videos to give you some good guidelines on how to create the most beautiful winter displays. We suggest that you watch them first and get a few tips and pointers and then go back and re-watch it while you're creating the display. You can always put it on pause, take a few minutes to uh, go through that step and then continue on. So in your Blizzard Blue Porch Pot Kit, you'll receive a triple bundle of evergreens, Ontario Pine Cedar and Fir, three white tipped pine cones, silver glittered white sticks, three non-edible blueberries, and three blue glitter balls. And you also will be able to select the pot size of your choice, a 10 or a 12 inch soil fill pot. I tend to start with the Ontario cedar. It helps to uh, create the shape of my porch pot and when I am putting the greens in I'll use this to create my shape and then I'll use my fir and my pine to add softness to the outdoor pot. So I start at the back of the porch pot and that will determine the height of the outdoor container or the finished product. You can look at how the greens tend to kind of softly flow to one side, kind of like drape and flow. Uh, when you do put that into your pot, I tend to do the stems in the center portion and have the soft drapey flow extend past the pot. So we're looking for a triangular shape formation right now or design. Clean stem. That'll help the insertions go a little bit easier for you as well. And I can make one of these pretty darn quick, but I've had years and years of experience. I tend to not throw too, too much away using everything that, uh, all the little bits and pieces. Just make sure to push them firmly into the soil. So I find that um, if this green tends to yellow a little bit with the fir and the pine extending past it, you can kind of camouflage that uh, yellowing as well but it's a night it is a good base for your outdoor winter pots I'll do is insert my fur. I'm going to layer it above the cedar that I have in place. So you can see that the noble fir extends past the cedar. You don't see as much of the cedar anymore and uh, it's starting to take a really good shape right now. It's looking good. So then we're going to add in our Ontario pine. That'll be our next step. I find right now that you do need the pine because you do have little spaces, um, some little holes and so on. But because the pine is very soft, it'll fill that up quite nicely and you'll have a really nice base for all your decorations to go into.
push your greens very firmly into the center of the pot with the rest of the green cascading outwards. That's what it should look like or fairly similar so this is a one-sided display so nice and full through the front here but if you turn it around to the back I didn't leave any gaping holes I kind of tucked all the little bits and pieces that uh, were left over I added those to the back of the container just to kind of fill it up a little bit and now we are ready for decorating one thing I like to recommend when you have completed your urn to this point um, is to actually take it and put it into the decorative container that you're using for the base. That way it'll give you some perspective if you need to like make it a little taller, a little bit wider. 